Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody guys, today again we will take a look at the euro currency, uh, mostly because we do not have any big shifts uh, on other currencies, but uh, also we will take a brief look at the scalp opportunity for trading on the Japanese yen. This will be this compounding uh, update uh, today, it's a compounding video, there's two currencies we will take a look at it, so first we will start from the euro currency and later we just will take the picture snapshot on the Japanese yen. So on the daily chart, guys, uh, at the first glance, as you can see, nothing has happened. But in reality, something is going on there, uh, since market stands tightly around the monthly pivot point, and it stands right, right in the middle of the previous consolidation. We know the importance of this consolidation. That's why the standing inside of this consolidation here, uh, it, it, it plays real significant meaning for us. Uh, at the chart you could see just the minor candles, but in reality here is some going process uh, with the big changing of the when the positions take the uh, f comes from the one side to the another when it's really big uh, trading volume. Unfortunately, guys, this is one of the uh, disadvantages of uh, spot forex when you trade on the, some retail trader. Uh, or sorry, retail broker, or you, can, you can't see the real trading volume here. That's why uh, the futures, uh, of the, when you, you take a look at the futures, uh, you have the whole picture of the market. Not, of course, of the spot market, but at least on the futures market. But this is really good indicator and, and, and a mirror of a uh, real spot market. So if you will see this, uh, the jump on the trading volume on the futures market, it means that uh, the spot forex is also a significant increase of the trading volume. So we call it as the churning. I have uh, said this many, many times already. And here is something of that sort is going on, I think, in this area as well. So the, the fact that market stands tightly in this area and doesn't show any further drop uh, is very important for the bulls. Because by the standing here, market keeps the chance on the further upward continuation and keeps the uh, opportunity for upward uh, moving to the next target. That's why I recall that we said yesterday, this market stands at the red line. So uh, this is the break-even point between the bullish possibilities and starting of the bearish deep retracement. If market will drop here below this consolidation, maybe it will not lead to the drastical reversal, and maybe we will not see the parity in the nearest future, but if market will drop below it, uh, this really could lead market to the really significant level. So, for example, this market could drop as far as one, to, to the 1 or 10, 1 or 9 area. This easily could happen. Uh, as we saw on the weekly chart uh, previously, on the weekly chart we saw many times when the market fails to break through this area, it shows deep retracement. So here and here it's again 1 or 8 area. Here it was even to 105. So that's why if market will fail here again, so probably some deep retracement could happen. But right now we see some activity in this area and that brings some hope, keeps the intrigue of this possible further upward continuation. So that's why this level is very important. What we have on the 4-hour time frame chart? On the 4-hour time frame chart we have discussed this wage pattern and we said that if you would like to take the long position, uh, maybe this is not really sufficient uh, reasons, context for the trading, because we, we, in fact we do not have any reversal patterns yet, maybe it's just wage pattern activity is not really very strong, but uh, the, all adva the, the single advantage of this setup is that market stands in the strong support and you could place the tight stop. And if market will fail here, you probably will lose, not your loss, loss will not be very significant, but uh, market definitely gives us the direction here. Because this is in fact the last area uh, that holds the bullish context valid. So f all, all the same stuff that we have talked yesterday and uh, right now. So 
Currently, guys, some bullish signs appears here. So first of all, market is taking some kind of the coming from the downward action, showing some kind of the trying to move in higher. This is uh, this wedge pattern is forming. On the hourly chart, guys, uh, we have the bullish divergence that is now right now is forming here. So some signs of the possible rebounding here on the euro currency is starting to appear, and that's why I'm not sure that. Uh, Bulls have no chances. So it seems right now that uh, current situation looks more bullish rather than bearish. Because uh, after touching major 1618 target, usually market should show the deep retracement. So th the mission completed here. It's 1618 has been hit. So no problems with the, for the market just to grab low, turn down, and show the deep retracement. This is normal. But market has shown the bounce down, pull back out from this target, but stands tight somewhere in coiling around the former top and doesn't drop further. This looks bullish, especially with the these signs of the activity that we see right now on the market. So that's why I think that it's uh, not, nothing has been done yet with the possibility of the further upward continuation here. So market uh, still keeps chance on the further upward continuation. So uh, that's what we see on the euro currency right now. Now let's shift to the Japanese yen just briefly. I'll show you the setup. Uh, maybe if you're a scalp trader, you will be interesting for that. Um, this setup uh, is the brand and bad opportunity on the four-hour Japanese yen chart. So what we have here on Japanese yen: strap lower. Here's the rumors on the possible intervention from the Bank of Japan have appeared. The market just some positions have been closed. As you can see, as a result, yen has dropped. So here the currency period is skyrocketed to the upside. Now market stands at the significant resistance. This is agreement resistance, so measure 618 resistance of, the, of this drop and take a look A, B, C bottom 1618 extension target. Market now is turning to retracement down. This thrust looks very nice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 candles to the upside. No significant retracement. So if market will reach 1 or 824 area, this will be the fifth support. Here we could get the brand butter set up for trading. So here you could try to take the scalp long position with the target 618 resistance of this whole back move. So that will be approximately 50, 60 pips probably. This is short term setup, scalp trade setup, but if you're a trade on the intraday charts, maybe it will be interesting for you. Just pay attention to it. So that's guys, that's probably all that we have right now. So setups, let's keep watching what will happen. Maybe on the current week, maybe tomorrow, uh, we will get some something from the Australian dollar and Great British Pound. We also will have the setups there, but uh, market hasn't formed yet any patrons. That's why today we will not pay attention to it. Maybe till the end of the week we will get something and definitely we'll take a look at them.